Hi, welcome to the Tinker's Workshop. Today in uh, part two of the uh, so Silva CNC enclosure build, uh, I'm going to continue on um, cutting the uh, pieces we need to make the enclosure. Uh, in part one we had cut all the 2 by 4s to length and in this part we'll uh, take some of these 2 by 4s and cut them down to 2 by 2s and then there'll be a few pieces that have got special cuts uh, for the windows for the uh, front doors for the enclosure and then uh, if we got time today we'll start uh, drilling the, all the pocket holes that need to be put into the uh, parts so that the assembly can be put together. Uh, in part one there uh, was a lot of cutting uh, to do and uh, we've got a lot more to go in this part so uh, let's get started. Now that I've got my table saw all set up um, for cutting the 2x2's two I've got uh, the first parts we're going to cut is the, an enclosure top frame mounting block and these are nothing more than pieces that are about four, 4 inches long and we're going to cut these down to uh, uh, two by twos instead of 2 by 4s so that's the first thing on the agenda. We have the uh, door frame horizontal pieces and the door frame horizontal base pieces to cut. These also are inch and a half by inch and a half, uh, two by twos, and 17 and 3 eighths inches long. So that'll be the next pieces we'll cut. Now we have six. The next pieces I've got to cut here are the stand vertical support uh, two, which are two by twos. There are, well, we've got to make four of them. They're 27 and three quarter inches long. So that'll be for the legs for the stand. And then uh, they'll be uh, screwed on to two by fours, which will give me a nice solid uh, uh, support for, for the stand. So that's the next one. The next pieces I got to cut are called the door frame vertical sides. These are the door strips that go vertical uh, for, for the enclosure. They're 39 and 3 eighths inches long. We got to cut them from 2 by 4s to 2 by 2s. We'll end up with uh, 12 pieces after we get done. Dusty, dusty, dusty. Ooh. Ooh. Uh, next we have the rail base side enclosure parts. Uh, we'll cut these down to a two by two. And then also uh, rail base enclosure parts. They're very similar. One is 48 inches long, another one is 45 inches long. So we'll rip these out of two by two by fours again to get them down to two by twos. Just a little more dust. The next part on our list is uh, called the lip base enclosure uh, 42 and uh, again it's a 2x4 that's uh, 41 and 3 quarter inches long and we're going to rip it from a 2x4 down to a 2x2 two two again. Two more off the list. The next part on our list is called the uh, Lip Base Enclosure 45. And uh, it's just like the other one, only <laughs> just about 45 inches long. So again, we'll rip it down to a uh, two by two instead of two by fours. Next 
part on the list uh, for our cutting is called the enclosure frame side rail. And these are pieces 42 inches long. We need four of them. The next part on our list is called the enclosure corner vertical small. Another piece that's uh, 42 and a half inches long. And uh, we're going to cut these again out of two by fours, cut them down to uh, two by twos, so we need four of those. Next we've got the uh, door frame horizontal side pieces. Uh, the, these are the pieces that, to make up the doors, there's three horizontal pieces within it. So we need 12 of them complete because there'll be doors all the way around the uh, enclosure. These are uh, a bit different too. They're, they're not an inch and a half by an inch and a half, they're an inch and a half by an inch and three quarters. So I've got the table saw already set up and we'll cut those next. pieces on our list here are the door frame vertical A and vertical B pieces. These are the front door pieces that uh, are the vertical vertical sections and these each have to be cut at uh, one and a half by one and three quarter inches also. So again we're all set up on the saw so we'll run those through. The next uh, pieces that we've got to cut on our list is called the enclosure corner vertical large. And these are uh, inch and a half by three inches wide. I've got the table saw already set up, so let's run those now. The next, <clears throat> the next pieces on the list are called the enclosure top rail large. They're four feet long and again they have to be three inches wide. Finally the uh, last two pieces that need to be cut are uh, called the uh, Enclosure top rail 41 and again these have to be cut down to three inches wide. The last pieces that we need to cut today on this video are for the front doors and to uh, make a dado cut on the door frame vertical and horizontal pieces on the front doors. This dado is so that the windows can be inset into the door frame and then there'll be small uh, triangular uh, pieces of wood that'll hold that glass, the plexiglass in place. Uh, the cuts are only an eighth inch by three eighths inch and I've got the table saw already set up so we should be a, uh, able to run these through uh, right now. Now that we've got the one side of the dado cut, I've adjusted the uh, table saw here now to do the, the other side and that'll finish out the dado. The last 
last piece that need to be cut are the horizontal pieces for the uh, doors with the dado cuts. I've got the blade set up to a 5 8 of an inch cut and that'll be a dado that's an eighth of an inch by 5 8 So I've got it set up already and we'll go ahead and cut the uh, smaller pieces and that'll be it. for today. Uh, we've got all the pieces cut and trimmed now and in video three of this segment for the uh, CNC uh, machine uh, enclosure uh, we're going to go ahead and start drilling all the holes, the pocket holes using a Craig uh, pocket jig. And uh, So we're done cutting and we're done making dado cuts and uh, so I hope you enjoyed what we've seen so far and what I've put together so far. part three and then uh, we'll, we'll do the pocket holes next and then uh, then we're on to finally assembling this, uh, this large enclosure. Alright, have a good day.